Hey, what's up? I'm Derek Kirk of Effectatron, and I just want to let you guys know that the Mind in Motion bundle is on sale right now. We're doing a fall sale for 50% off. You get both the Mind in Motion Fundamentals course as well as the Mind in Motion Animation course, which totals 100 plus videos of Cinema 40 and Redshift training. And also everything on my Gumroad is on sale. Use code FALL50 to save 50% on everything, including my open PBR glass pack, which is a bestseller, as well as like the 400 plus material pack, stuff like that. Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff on here. So definitely check that out. The particle rain sim, the ultimate Redshift drag and drop pack. I mean, 400 materials for 25 bucks after savings. You can't, you can't beat that. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Metals, glasses, all these are included in that big one. We've got a city, water, cool stylized things, a cloth scene. We've got spooky stuff, cloud generators, whatever you want. A fun shapes pack, the ultimate redshift master pack, different scenes and things like that. Xbox cameras, the particle drag and drop rain simulation, which works with anything uh, as well. So definitely check out all of that as well. The Mind Emotion animation course, which totals 100 plus videos of Cinema 40 and Redshift training. And that is in, includes 70 plus projects. So I mean, like, we're not just watching a video, you are doing things, right? At the end of this, you'll have 70 plus renders in your portfolio. And then at the end of that, we go into how to edit and select music and cut together a portfolio reel. I go through the whole process, whether you're a beginner or an experienced user, or you're coming over from something, or you just want to figure something out, you can either go through it completely in order, which is how it's built, or you can actually pick through and just do whatever you want. If you just want to figure out something about materials and transparencies that day, go for it. If you just want to do how to compositing, do that one. If you just want to do some animation, get into that one. So if you take a look here, what you get inside the course, you get 100 plus hours. So a lot of you know, I'm taking a little break from Cinema 4D right now, but that's because I'm kind of burnt out. And when you look at this, you'll probably understand a little bit why, because there's literally like four, well, there's literally like twice as many videos as I've ever done in the last six years on YouTube just inside of this course alone. And they're specific to this course and they're up to date. They're all ready to 3.5 and up Cinema 40 2025. Uh, and basically everything is just good to go and you'll be able to get it. It even has particle stuff built in with a new particle system. It has some liquid stuff. It has pyro. It has all kinds of things when it comes to whether you're doing render settings, how to set it up for your computer, whether it's modeling, whether it's animating, whether it's compositing or UV unwrapping, all kinds of stuff. Everything is in here and this organic flow that just makes sense. But beyond the technical skills, there's also this mental aspect of it where I kind of like just had these interviews with these different people about um, imposter syndrome and stuff like that and kind of the struggles of being a creative and so that's there. I want you to know that you're not alone. Um, it's very easy to, you know, compare yourself to other artists and things and be like, I just can't do this. It's okay. Where you're at is where you're supposed to be. Keep working. And this will help elevate you. This literally has everything you need. Um, lighting, materials, we dive into everything. Oh, like you're going to have so much stuff. I, I could go on and on about this, but we also get access to fun shapes, abstract renders, uh, studio lighting, free plant assets, all kinds of stuff, caustics, car studio lighting, car compositing. So if you know you want, you click in here. This is what you see as a student. You get this video about how to composite a car in this shot, you know, very quickly and easily, and then how to make it look pretty good uh, elsewhere. So if you want to like dive in and start figuring out stuff like cars and stuff, you get the scene files, you get different assets. I even throw in some extra ones that I think are cool, like this, like a Batmobile, stuff like that from sources that are free. So you can follow along. I don't use things that you don't have access to. Everything is going to be available to you. So there's no like, oh, this is how you make this really cool looking fancy thing that you don't have. So just watch me do it. No, you're going to follow along. And do it as well. And we talk about all kinds of materials, thin coat, SSS, fundamentals of displacement, cloth, car paint, redshift hair, dirt maps. Oh my gosh, it's so much PBR materials, AI materials, how to create fancy glasses, substance materials, like the list goes on and on and on. And when we do these things, we're not just like straight up just slapping them on a material ball most of the time. We're making something with them, right? Every now and then when it's like understanding the basics, we do use a material ball kind of stuff. But for the most part, we want to make something out of this. We want something that you can put on your reel. And then for modeling, we do all kinds of different ways to approach different modeling techniques. We've got the basics of creating. We use rounding, freehand modeling, deformers, bools, volume builders, splines, cloners, node-based modeling, which is a really cool way to model. 
And we get some really cool, fun stuff out of that, like this really cool Greeble scene. And this is, again, a 30-minute project. Everything is kind of like 30 minutes and under for the most part. So you can like dive in, knock something out, and then, you know, move on, do something else, uh, and then come back to it later, right? And then the landscape one is probably one of my favorite ones um, because we show not only how to create like cool landscape scenes, but we also set it up with a material so that it's automatically rock on the side and grass or snow or whatever you want on the top. And we can change those out. So once you throw that on there, it instantly, as you can see here, it instantly just generates this nice, cool thing with one material on our landscape. You can see there, and it's created this nice grass on top, rock on the side, just like that. So we cover all kinds of stuff like it's a lot. And then we go into animation. We do the new rigid body, the soft body, filling cues with squishy things, because that's always fun to do. Dynamics, emitters, pyro, liquid, particles. <sighs> we talk about animating MoGraph to music, looping things around the world, making different flippy loops, marble rolls going around, uh, infinite loops, emitters, uh, doing particles, particle flow, particle liquid, particle tech kind of looking stuff. We've got... Just other things that are just neat little fog and things and liquid as well. We're splashing those in there. Camera basics, depth of field, natural movement, camera running cameras, moving cameras, all this stuff. And it's not all just like, hey, watch me do this. We're going to use things that you can follow along with and create on your own. And then we wrap all of that up by putting everything together and creating these cool product shots. We've got a Nike shoe, a bottle of wine, and they aren't just like, here's a perfect situation uh, to create a product shot. It's like things like with the Nike shoe. This is like we have a shoe model, but they don't really have like, it's not unwrapped really or anything. We have like one and it's like for the shoe model, we have like one shoe that's unwrapped, um, but we only have one texture. It's just the color texture. So how do we use that color texture to create the normal maps, the bump maps, the roughness, the specular, all this stuff from that one thing and actually make it look realistic and how to get the displacement and everything just from that one file because sometimes the client doesn't give you everything so you need to be able to troubleshoot those things and that's kind of what we do in all of these things and then we even go from one project the headphone one we do an entire product line so we go from the entire production we go from finding the model we go to how to texture the model and then conceptualize how to create a short for this and then how to find the music for this how to edit to that music to this and get the most out of what you have. So we go through the whole process. And then after everything is done, we talk about post effects and stuff. And then we go into that beyond that, where we create your reel with editing tips, sound tips, things like that, and resources that are going to be for you to be able to sh share your work because you're about to have 70 plus projects. And you need to know how to put them together to make them pop, right? So beyond that, there's even more, but that's basically it. I just want you guys to know I'm not good at advertising. I'm not good at selling myself. Um, this course is fantastic. Like the way I teach it, the way it, it's like when I do stuff for YouTube, I'm like, I'm always like kind of condense it down and make it as quick and snappy and fast as possible. And I don't sit there and let it linger and I don't make mistakes and fix them and stuff that much. But in this, I do. So you see problem solving and troubleshooting in real time and that is invaluable and i've heard from the students and stuff that they love the way this is they helped me de develop it it had a beta group that helped me make it the way it is now it helped me shape it so it is ready for you please so enroll now uh, do yourself a favor and me a favor help support me and my family <laughs> but i really appreciate it use code fall 50 to save 50% off right now.